Hey guys, so I am doing another one of these videos. I did these the past two years and I really enjoyed them. So I'm going to be showing you all the designs I made this past year in 2023. When I first thought of doing this video again this year, I'm like, I made like nothing this year because if you don't know, I feel like I keep saying this in every video, but I'm currently attending a university and I've been very busy with that. Um, so I feel like I didn't get to Loom this year as much as I would have liked, but that being said, I did make a lot of things this year not Rainbow Loom related, which I won't be talking about in this video. Um, there is one issue I did run into when I was thinking about filming this video, which was that I thought I had a lot of my designs here at my house, um, but I do not. Uh, I was looking for my stuff right now and I was like, oh yeah, I totally left majority of this here. I did not. I actually left majority of the designs I made this year back in my apartment at my university. I'm currently at home right now for a few weeks. Um, so that was a problem, but we're just gonna look at photos instead. We, I actually made 15, technically 16 new designs this year, which for some reason for me it doesn't feel like a lot, but then when I think about it, that's actually a lot. So I don't know, maybe I just put too much pressure on myself. Oh, also I'm pretty sure that like the tutorials for most of these designs, except maybe like two or three are already on my channel. So if you see anything in this video you wanna make, there is probably a tutorial for it on my channel. And if you search Lumigurumi, like whatever, it'll probably pop up. First design I actually made this year was my Yeti design, and I don't know if I put this in the other video, but I think I put this... I don't know if I put this Yeti design in the video for last year or this year, and I'm not gonna look, so <laughs> we're just gonna put in the design for you this year because I was going by Instagram and I posted this like January 20th. So when I first saw that I made this this year, feels like it was ages ago and like years ago, but apparently I barely made this this year. And I don't know if I say this in the tutorial, but it was actually inspired by like an ornament I have on our tree. And I saw the shape of it and I just thought it would be perfect for like a Lumigurumi design. And yeah, I'm really proud of this design. I really like how it turned out and I. I like the shape I was able to achieve for the Yeti. Oh, so my other design I made this year that, once again, some of the, like, these are the designs I made at the start of this year, and they do not feel like they were made this year. They feel like they were made ages ago. So after I made the big duck last year, I was like, I need to make another, like, big design. So I made a big cow, because a lot of you guys love my cow design, and I love it too. I, we actually had, like, two cow designs this year, because um, I made a big cow, and then I made, it like, a tiny baby cow. And I do have my baby cows with me right now, so I'm going to show you a close-up of those. It's also kind of funny, like, seeing my my cow into like scale with me but yeah I oops I made baby cows this year and I made a big cow um but my big cow design I was very proud of and I was really like that one after I made it I was really excited to show it to you guys because I knew you guys would love it I think I technically made this last year but I like perfected it and made a tutorial for it this year so I'm gonna put it in this video as well but I finished up my goose design and this one I'm going to show you up close as well at the end. I forgot I actually had this one, but I made my goose design this year. I know I technically like designed it last year, but I perfected it and made the tutorial and made some adjustments this year. So I feel like it's kind of an in-between design. And that's another thing I want to say. I definitely do the thing where I take breaks from design. So like I'll get started on something, forget about it for a long period of time, and then come back to it and finish it. So even though I like designed it or like came up with the concept for it last year, I feel like I really perfected it and finished it this year. Oh my god, these guys. I honestly thought I had these here because I felt like I made these during the summer, but I think I made these during the spring. I But these elephants, and I say in the caption of this post that I had had an idea to make elephants like this for years and I never did. Um, these were inspired by a clay elephant I made and yeah once I made the loom design version it was also like such a simple shape which works good sometimes when I'm trying to make easier designs because I feel like I definitely sometimes get too complicated with it. So this was just a nice simple design that I'm pretty proud of and they're just they're just little elephants. So this one is definitely not a finished design and it, this might be one of those designs that I like start this year will finish another year but um, I tried to design an axolotl, <laughs> and I don't really like it, like, there's certain elements I like, like, I really liked how his little, like, frizzy things turned out, but I didn't, I didn't like his body shape, like, I feel like I need to go back in and, like, fix this whole back, like, his whole back section needs fixing. It's also funny looking at this photo, because I know where I took this photo as well. This is the floor of the art building. I literally was sitting on a bench, and I, I've been getting to the habit that, like, I just keep loom things in my backpack so I remember to take photos of them. Also, I'm always hesitant to put designs I'm working on in these videos, because last year I showed you guys a whale shark design that I was working on, and my comments since then have been like, where's the whale shark? And I'm like, 
he's not done <laughs> he's not done and i actually revisited him this year let me see if i can find the photo my family was going to the beach and i decided i wanted to make some designs that would be cute to take photos of at the beach and i made another version of my whale shark and i'm still not happy with it so i attempted to make the whale shark again this year i'm still not happy with the design to me it just looks too much like a whale and not a whale shark so yeah no whale shark tutorial coming anytime soon but um it, it's coming just eventually <laughs> And since in this photo with my whale shark, we have my hermit crab. I guess we'll talk about that design next. This is another one. I thought I left a hermit crab here, but I did not. Um, but I, I designed this hermit crab. Like I said, I was actually working on these designs when I was in the car headed back to my school. Because my school's like eight hours away from where I live and my whole family was coming. So we drove. And we were going to go to the beach as well. Because there's a beach kind of close to where my school is. And by kind of close, I mean like three hours away. But we don't live close to a beach. So we were like, if we're like that close we're just gonna go to the beach um so we went to the beach and i wanted to make some loom designs that would like be cute to take photos of at the beach so i made a hermit crab and i tried to make an i revisited my whale shark design and yeah i really love this photo i took of my crab in the sand it is so cute and we're actually probably gonna go to the beach again this year and i'm probably gonna make more loom designs to take photos of at the beach but the beach was a lot of fun i think it was around this time someone asked me to make like some super simple design like could you make like a cat or like a dog and I was like no I made a hermit crab <laughs> I feel like I never make what you guys ask me to make and I'm so sorry but it's whatever I'm inspired to make and I was going to the beach and I was like a hermit crab is just perfect so a hermit crab design now exists I don't know if it needed to exist but yeah and if you guys ever take your hermit crabs to the beach I would love to see photos because <laughs> I do like seeing what you guys make my things you know this design was another one I was like I had to have made this last year but apparently I did this this year um so we have my flower design. So I made a daisy and I made uh, a tulip. And I do have the tulips here and I'm gonna show you those close up when we flip to my hands just to show you my designs at the end. I thought I left the daisies here as well, but I think I filmed the tutorial for the daisy in my apartment. So I have all the daisies at my apartment. I feel like whenever I make kind of like a simpler design, I'm like, is it complicated enough? And the answer was, yeah, it's fine. But these, these were cute and fun and I liked them. I definitely wanna make more flowers because they were cute. I like them. <laughs> I also designed these numbers because this year was 10 years of me looming and like the birthday cake candle numbers. Like I said, I'll show you, you these guys close up, but I made a 10 in like birthday shaped candle numbers. I think I made, I actually made these in the car when I was coming home from school. <laughs> um, excuse you midnight uh, yeah i made these in the car coming home from school in the spring because school literally ended like a week before what was going to be like my 10 year loom anniversary and i was so excited because doing something for 10 years it just feels like an accomplishment so i was really excited and i made these guys and i'm really proud of them i don't think i'd ever make a tutorial for these guys because to be honest i don't even remember how i made them i am so sad i don't have it here with me but i made this one and i am so proud of it because i had been wanting to make a rainbow for years and I mean I never knew how to like start making a rainbow because rainbows are just like a weird shape like how do you achieve that shape and this design if I had a favorite design that I made this year it is this one because I am so proud of it because it is pretty easy to make it is like kind of so seamless it is like I had that I am so proud of this design because I just feel like it is such like design quality wise and like I I think of these things when I'm designing things because I do make tutorials is like how easy is it to remake is it going to be complicated um is there a lot of attaching because a lot of people hate attaching like this rainbow has like none of that it's pretty easy to make the colors they shift like seamlessly that was the thing I didn't want to deal with with the rainbow for the colors were all crazy no they look good and um it looks pretty seamless there's like no attaching and yeah I am yeah I don't even know what to say about this I'm so so proud of it and if I have a favorite design I made this year it is definitely this rainbow because it just yeah it's so perfect and it just like has all the qualities I look for in my own designs that I like yes oh okay this was a design I kind of forgot about I did um, I've been trying to make an ice cream design, but like I didn't want to do like a basic ice cream So I made like this double scoop ice cream cone and 
I completely forgot about it. But yeah, it's like two little ice creams stacked on top of each other. They got like a little cone and cherry on top. And I don't know how I feel about this design. I feel like it's good, but I feel like it's missing something. And I'm not sure what that something is. I just look at it and I'm like, it's missing something. What is it missing? I'm not sure, but it's. I just feel like it's missing something. We're gonna be at my Christmas designs and I do have those here with me. So I'm gonna flip to my hands real quick and we're gonna finish talking about my designs and then we'll flip back to me and I'll wrap up the video. Okay, so we have my Christmas designs I made this year, and like I said, I'm going to show you them this way because I actually have them with me. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bad right now. I just went to go get my light, and um, it broke, so we're doing it without the light today. But this is my figgy pudding design, and the, this is the purple one I made in the tutorial, which I actually think is pretty cute. But we also have my other figgy puddings. I feel like the lighting is so odd right now so the other christmas design i made this year that i can actually show you of my sack of presents and two of their mouths already fell off because they were in my bag but i am really proud of this design it was so fun and silly like and i saw a couple of you guys made it and i'm so happy um but yeah my sack of presents design the dog keeps barking but and then I also made these little tiny presents as like a separate design, so I guess it's like two designs in one, but I'm really proud of this design. I felt like, some people said it looked like my blueberry, and I was like, it does look like my blueberry design, but it's kind of different, and I felt like it's just fun. But yeah, I really like this design. Pretty proud of it. That was all the designs I made this year, but I'm just going to really quickly show you some of my other designs up close. Um, I know we talked about the tiny cow I made this year. I am so proud of this one because, to me, the way I did the cow too, it just looks so baby. And it's like a little baby cow. Um, and I have a bunch of these because I brought all these home with me because I knew I was filming the baby cow tutorial. So I just have, like, a ton of baby cows right now. And I keep forgetting to post all these guys on Instagram, but, yeah, I just have, like, a ton of baby cows. And then we have the numbers I made, which I don't think I'll ever be making a tutorial for, but they were pretty fun. And then, of course, we have my tulip design, and the tutorial for these guys is on my channel if you ever want to make them. And once again, their mouths fell off. That always happens. Actually, I think I never glued their I never glued their mouths on. Oops. Um, we got my tulip design. And then, of course, the very last design I had here with me was my goose, which was kind of like, just like the finessed version of the goose I made last year, but yeah. That was all the designs I made this year. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing them all, and let me know which of my designs was your favorite from this year, or if there's any designs that you really want the tutorial for. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the whale shark. I promise I'm working on it. Just, It just takes time. Designs take time. Designing takes time, and I try my best to make designs you guys would like. If you have any design requests for 2024, leave them down in the description. Also, that sounds so weird. Every time the year changes, I'm definitely one of those people who has like a crisis. I'm like, 2024? <laughs> like, that sounds fake. It also gives me a crisis because 2024 is going to be the year I graduate, so that scares me. <laughs> but also, because I'm born into the year 2000, every time the year changes, I realize I'm going to be that old the next year because like, I'm 23 right now, but next year I'm going to be 24, which is weird to think about. So, yeah. And even though I'm hesitant to show you things I'm working on, I am working on something I started last night. I'm going to try to just show you like the tiniest hint. I'm not going to show you the full thing because if it fails, I don't want you guys commenting on every video like what happened to it. Things happened to it. But that's the only hint you're getting. And I didn't put it in this video because it is in the rough stages of the design process. Hope you guys had a good 2023 and I still plan on uploading more tutorials in 2024 as well as other videos. Hoping I have the time because my schedule for next semester is already looking hectic as ever. Um, but yeah, thank you for everything this year. Um, watching my videos, sharing with me all your things and I'm excited for 2024. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see what's coming. And I've linked my Instagram down below if you want to see all the photos I did in this video close up, I guess. I have them all posted on Instagram, so you can check it out over there. I think that's it. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.